governor at the scene. He says he's not coming. And so we'll be led okay, thank you. by the minority leader and his leadership. The national chairman of the NDC here, the PNC is represented by the former national chairman and the women organizer, Kope Ghana, Dankadamwa is here, Arise Ghana is here. We are all going to go there, demand to see the governor, present our petition and come back to address the crowd so you can move with us thank you okay so you guys have national communications officer um uh, for the ndc sammy jp he says um the governor dr agnison is is not able to come here so this is actually behind the barricades the barricades and the human wall formed by personnel from the ghana police service uh let's speak to an aid to former president John Mahama, Felix Ofosukwache. Felix, we're live on Joy News. Uh, what's your assessment of the demonstration? We're just coming to the end of it. Now we're walking. You're going to present your petition to um, Dr. Addison, the governor. Well, it's been a mammoth demonstration. Uh, in my estimation, about 50,000 people showed up. It's an indication of the level of frustration and disenchantment with the economic mismanagement that has gone on. And nobody has typified that mismanagement more than the governor of the Bank of Ghana, whose indiscriminate printing of money for government has led to a catastrophic undermining of the Ghanaian economy. Inflation has risen. Hundreds of thousands of people have been pushed into poverty because of that. And we are all reeling under hardships. Now, we had hoped that Dr. Addison would act honorably and come out to meet the masses who have poured out to vent their spleen on him and take the petition and take a cue from the demands that are being made but he would not do so so we have opted to walk to the bank of ghana to okay. present the petition in order that he is fully aware that we have come here to remonstrate with him over the mismanagement of the ghanaian economy mm. um at a point when you were doing the work you stopped over at the new headquarters that is still under construction and you delivered some speeches there how significant or how symbolic was that? it's symbolic because that office building typifies the sort of waste and corruption that has permeated the management of the economy at a time when Ghanaians are struggling to make ends meet to afford one meal a day the bank of ghana deems it prudent that even at a time when they have suffered a loss of up to 60 billion Ghana cities and the bank is virtually bankrupt and are unable to meet some of their regulatory activities they found it expedient to pump as much as 250 million dollars into the building of a new head office that nobody needs indeed we are working to the bank of Ghana head office which has been here for decades it is one of the most secure buildings you can come across in Ghana there's no indication that it is not fit for purpose 150 million dollars into the building of a new office so yeah, but, 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 that place they, they, they was symbolic mm. in that that building has become a reference point for waste and corruption even the procurement processes appear to have been undermined in a manner that violates Ghanaian law so stopping over at that place was extremely important to the message that we are sending that we will not stand for this level of impunity and lawlessness and waste I'm at so, so what happens after today you're demanding a resignation of the governor and his two deputies now you're going to present the petition what happens after today well we, they hope, we hope that they will act honorably and do not compel us to engage in more public manifestations to force them out i think that people ought to take responsibility for their failings in public office ghana is the only country where people fail and get promoted there's no jurisdiction that is self-respecting that will countenance uh, Dr. Addison's continuous stay in office the truth is that by virtue of the losses that have been incurred the catastrophic decline in the value of the city and the level of inflation and interest rates he himself would have come to the realization that he has failed and therefore would honorably stand aside for a more competent hand to helm the bank of ghana but he will not do so and it does not appear that the stakeholders who matter and can voice concern about it. So the minority has taken it upon itself to leave this charge, to first of all draw attention to the mismanagement and then make the demand that Governor Addison leaves office. We hope that he finds reason in our demands. If he does not, 
other options remain available and we'll continue to pursue every lawful means to ensure to move out from this which options will be considered well as they say we'll cross the bridge when we get there but today yeah. we have put on the streets of ghana tens of thousands of people to express their anger the next time we call a demonstration perhaps a million people will show. maybe that is to trigger his, his senses to heed the demands of the people of ghana but whatever it is we have made our point today and we do hope that he finds reason in the demands we are making and do what is right okay. by the people of Ghana. Okay, thanks so much for talking to us. My pleasure. So we just had there uh, Phyllis Kwachi Ovusu, who is an aide to former President John uh, Mahama. What you can see in your shots right now, um, the leadership of the NDC minority in Parliament and then the party itself are working to go and present the petition to the governor of the Bank of Ghana. At this point, we do not have the many protesters who poured onto the streets here with us. They are behind the barricades and it's the leadership that's going to present um, the petition. So let's get closer. The police must arrest the police. The police must arrest the police. Let's get closer and see. So, in your shot right now is the minority leader, Kassel Atu Fawcett. Also, also Ningo from Pram MP, Sam George, Chairman of the NDC, Johnson Esiedun Ketia, Sam George urging the crowd to move. Like I mentioned, the thousands of protesters who poured onto the streets are behind the barricades above five, about 300 meters away from where we are at this point. And it's the leadership that is now walking to go and present the petition to the governor of the Bank of Ghana. They had wanted the governor to come to where the demonstration itself ended. But it looks like, it doesn't look like that's what happened actually. The governor didn't come there and now the leadership of the demonstration made up of the leadership of the minority in parliament, NDC minority in parliament, and the party leadership are now heading to the central bank to present their petition. But even that is going to happen behind barricades. Let's see if they'll be allowed. Wait, 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 let the media go. Wait, let the media go. Okay. So, this is the central bank. So we are now at the central bank. Where the minority in parliament and the NDC leadership open presenting a petition. Thank you very much. At this point, we're waiting for the leadership. If I move, I won't get this near. Nobody was this. So the delegation is made up of National Communications Officer Sami Jemfi. Chairman of the NDC, Johnson is here in Katia. The minority leader, Kassala Two Force, is also there. NDC MP Mohammed is also there. 
Presentation of the petition will start very soon. Let's go back. Charlie, go down. I will allow you. And so, yes. Good evening, sir. Uh, the group you see here is an amalgamation of Ghanaians from all walks of life. And we are being led by the minority caucus in parliament made up of 137 members of parliament. And they are here representing their constituents. This group you see here, like I said, is an amalgamation of Ghanaians from all walks of life. We have the Okada Association of Ghana here represented. We have our Kayae Association in Accra. We have the Fishermen and Fishmongers Association. We have our Concerned Drivers Union, they are here. We have Arise Ghana represented here. We have Kope Ghana. We have ASEPA. We have the PNC. We have leading members of the CPP. We have leading members of the APC, leading members of GUM, and we have leading members of the Great National Democratic Congress. And as you can see, the National Democratic Congress team is also being led by our national chairman, Honorable Johnson Asidun Kitia. Today we embarked on a demonstration dubbed Occupy Bank of Ghana. But before we tell you why we are here and present our petition to you and make our demands, we also like to know you so that we know those we are speaking to because we don't know you we're expecting to see um um, um, um mr ns dr ns addison uh unfortunately we can't see him here so we'd like to know those of you who are here my name is wing commander Let me first uh, welcome you to the presence of Bank of Ghana and also congratulate you over the peaceful demonstration you have had today. Like you indicated, we've heard that you'll be coming to present a petition to the government. Please, can we get your name and position again? Wing Commander, Wing Commander Kwame Asarebwati, retired Director, Security, Bank of... I'm, I'm retired, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and also a council like you. So, um, like I said earlier, we want to <clears throat> congratulate you for the peaceful demonstration that you have conducted today. We were informed that you will be coming to present the petition to the governor. But the three governors, as we speak, are currently meeting the IMF and, uh, in a meeting and there's nobody there. So the government has asked that I meet you and take the petition on his behalf and will accordingly respond to the petition. Thank you. All, all right, so the minority leader will respond. Okay. You guys, you guys so first, let me say that I feel very disrespected as the leader of the opposition in parliament for a simple reason that we demanded to present a petition to the governor of the Central Bank of the Republic of Ghana otherwise known as the Bank of Ghana. The governor has two deputies, namely Deputy 1 and Deputy 2. Unfortunately, he has decided to disrespect us and his two deputies has also decided to disrespect us by not being here and to receive our petition. We never said we are going to present our petition to the head of security or someone all responsible respect. for security with all due respect they have actually mismanaged the affairs of the central bank 
they have mismanaged the affairs of monetary policy. Today, Ghana, our beloved country, is on 80 nails. You are not the one responsible, and we will not give you our petition. Let me also say that, in summary, this governor and this Bank of Ghana, led by Governor Addison, has unilaterally printed up to 80 billion Ghana cities in two years without recourse to Parliament. Aside, they have unilaterally written off about 48 billion Ghana cities being government debt. The parliamentary approval. Let me say that all of this was done without parliamentary, uh, parliamentary approval. But let the governor be aware that, in fact, printing of money is like an alcoholism. The good effect or the perceived good effect comes immediately. But the hangover comes after the party. Governor Addison printed money to finance the champagne lifestyle of this President Takufuado and Baumia lifestyle on an appetite budget. Today, our country is on its nails. The Bank of Ghana is bankrupt. We will not accept it. The Central Bank of Ghana today is bankrupt, technically. You are insolvent. You have a negative equity of 51, 55.1 billion Ghana cities and a loss one year of 60 billion Ghana cities. You have again projected to incur additional debt in the year 2023 and counting. We will not allow you going forward to disrespect us and mismanage the affairs of the people of Ghana. Your act, Bank of Ghana, has indeed pushed 850,000 Ghanaians down the poverty line and we will hold you accountable, particularly the governor we are demanding his exit. And now that he has decided to disrespect us, we will not present our petition. We will go and come back again. We will come back here again. And we will come back and demand to see him in person. The crowd you've seen is just the beginning. We will come back again. And I assure you, trust me, we will come back again. He should better come in here. If he thinks that the IMF is more important than the Parliament of Ghana, the if he thinks that the IMF is more important than the people of Ghana, he's here because of the people of Ghana and not IMF. So let him deal with IMF, but we'll come after him. We will come after him. Thank you. Until we see him, we are not stopping. This is just the beginning. A lot more. So, on that note, we mean no disrespect, but we thank you very much. But we'll be protesting again and and we hope that we will be meeting him. Until we see him, we will not stop occupying the Bank of Ghana. Thank you. Thank you. The petition was not presented. Thank you so much. The petition was not presented. The minority says in that. Let's try and get the minority leader. Okay, let's. The head of 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 let, let's speak to not tongue member of parliament, uh, Samuel Okujetua-Blakwa. Uh, Mr. Okujetua-Blakwa, the governor and his two deputies did not come out to meet the minority um, leadership and the NDC leadership. They said, you're in a meeting with the IMF. It's clearly a reflection of the disdain and the disregard they have for the Ghanaian people. I mean, how can you choose the IMF over the people who have employed you? <laughs> over your employers, over the people you are supposed to serve, is the height of disrespect. And is the reason these people must go. It just tells you that they are really a bunch of administrators, leaders who simply don't care they don't have regard for the people they have no scruples they have no dignity because this is the height of disrespect and i can assure you that what they have done is not only an affront to parliament 
it gives us further impetus to go after them and to make sure that they are held to account. That is why we have brought in the office of the special prosecutor because already they have committed very high crimes. They have printed as much as 77 billion Ghana cities without parliamentary approval in flagrant violation of section 30 of Act 981, their own Bank of Ghana Act. And we are going to make sure that they are held to account. How can you print 77 billion illegally and still make losses of about 60.8 billion? So, I mean, you just see this is, you should see this as who they are. You understand? People who can print money secretly mm, to the tune of 77 billion, you shouldn't be surprised when they show such disrespect to the people's representatives and to civil society organizations who have come to present a petition. They will pay for their disrespect, they will pay for their misrule, they will pay for their misgovernance, they will pay for their corruption, they will pay for their looting, and they will pay for the disdain that they have for the Ghanaian people, I can assure you. I, I want more information on this um, before you go. You talked about a petition to the special prosecutor, exactly on what matters. Have you presented a petition yet? Yes, I mean, the Honorable Mahama Ayariga presented a petition uh, today? On, on our behalf yesterday. Yesterday to yes. the special prosecutor? Yes, uh, okay. asking that the governor and his two deputies be investigated and they should be prosecuted look serious crimes have been committed okay. they have violated the bank of ghana act they have printed as much as 77 billion i mean just think about the figure and nobody knows what they've done with that money they have not accounted to the people of ghana what they've done with that money they should not have engaged in that conduct in the first place so we are talking about high crimes. And you see, if you look at the history of our country, a champion's, one of our champion's cardinal sins, why a champion was overthrown, was the illegal printing of our currency. I mean, check our history, 1979. He suffered a coup d'etat because of that. And he didn't print anything close to even 2% of what has happened. So this governor and his deputies will have to face the music okay. there will be judgment day okay. and this is the this is just the beginning okay. of that judgment day look okay. go to nigeria go to other parts of the world you see that governors are standing trial there are some governors who have served jail time because of conducts like this and governor addison the miss governor addison the printer it's not going to be allowed to get away. Okay. You can be rest assured. Okay. Thank you for talking to us. Um, you just heard there, um, Northern Member of Parliament, Samuel Okuja to a black Let's try and get the, let's try and get a minority leader, Kassala Tufos, and we're still alive on Joy News. Uh, let's, let's speak to him. He says he feels disrespected. Yeah. Let's... Mr. Tufosin, we are live on Joy News on the Pulse um, right now. Yes, you've spoken at length, but there are also assertions out there. Uh, you mentioned that you feel disrespected after you were told that the governor is meeting um, a team from IMF together with his deputies. I, I think the whole point of this demonstration is to also uh, protest against what is happening. You talk about hyperinflation, you talk about depreciation of the city, you talk about uh, cost of living and all of that. If he's meeting the IMF, is not for the better of it? I am the leader of the NDC minority in parliament. If the NDC minority decides to protest, it should override whatever responsibilities he has. We are not demanding much time. He could have spared us 10 minutes of his time to receive our petition. Unfortunately, he decided not to. But going forward, we will not take this lightly. We are not going to end the campaign against his removal. This has given us an opportunity to come back to the central bank. And don't be surprised to see us back here after today's protest. The, the, the economy is, is not in the best of shapes. He's meeting the IMF to provide a lifeline to I think, what we I, think. I think I've said enough. I've said enough. So what, so what are we going to see from the NDC? More protests? Today is just the beginning. It's just the beginning. Okay. You didn't get an opportunity I to present the petition, much. but can you tell us what was in the petition? Was oh, it a resignation? Um, His resignation? A lot, what more, else? A lot okay. more than resignation. Um, 
I will not present the petition because he failed to receive it himself. He sent a security man to come and receive the petition. The issues in the petition has nothing to do with security. If indeed we had wanted to protest about security, there was no way we would have come to the central bank. We would have gone to the National Security or the Ghana Police Service or maybe the Ministry of Interior. But he thinks that sending a security man to see us uh, is enough. We feel very, very disrespected and um, we we'll act accordingly. Okay. Finally, um, I had a petition has been presented to the special prosecutor to investigate some of these matters you're raising. Um, the Honorable Mama Yariga has written a letter to the special prosecutor detailing reasons why he believes the central bank governor must be called and be investigated. Let's leave it at that. Okay. And let's Thank wait you. for the special prosecutor okay. to respond. Okay. Appropriately. Thank you very much. We've heard from the minority leadership in parliament. You heard minority leader Castella to force it. Let's let's hear from the party leadership. Let's speak to the chairman. Um, Johnson and Sierra Nketiah. Mr. Sierra Nketiah, we are live on Joy News on the Pulse. Um, yes. Welcome to the show. Um, the minority leader said he, he feels disrespected because the governor and his two deputies did not come out to meet him, you know, to present his petition to them. I don't know how you feel personally. Oh, if my minority leader who works to me feels disrespected, and you are going to ask me whether I feel respected. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just asking whether you feel the same way. Like, I'm just asking how you also feel. <laughs> No, it's the same thing. I think that the answer is obvious. So you shouldn't be asking me. We all feel very much disrespected. And this, 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 this speaks to the impunity uh, with which Nana Fufuadu and his appointees want to run this country. This is not democracy. I made a point yesterday that we are not operating a democracy now, a very defective democracy. Democracy is not about uh, voting once a while. It's about participating in governance of the country. So if Nana Kufuado and his appointees feel that once they have been voted for, um, it takes four years for them to do whatever they want so that nobody can call them to order. Yeah. Let them proceed. Okay. But we are not handing over our petition to uh, uh, the head of security. Mm. It's like somebody wanting to present a petition to parliament, to the speaker of parliament, and the speaker delegates the masha of uh, the head of security of parliament to come and receive it. Okay. It's the height of disrespect. And so, let him remain here. We are going to regroup, find another time to bring the petition. We are not handing over that petition to any security head because the security people there, they have no idea about what type of policies that are being run there. Yeah. So if you give them the document, they will not even know the value. And we want to present it to Addison and call on him to resign. Okay. That is great. Okay. So, if they are not receiving it today, let the police get ready. We are coming some other time to still try to occupy the place and then present the petition. We will do it until they receive the petition. Okay. Otherwise, we don't want to come to a point where Parliament will have to boycott Addison. Or Parliament will, or, uh, by extension... Would you advise the minority in Parliament to boycott him? Desperate situations <laughs> require desperate solutions if it comes to a point that that is the only way out it will be done because what we are doing today is a national duty to protect our democracy in other countries where the tolerance level is not that high they would have resorted to a coup d'etat to remove the, the president we are a tolerant and civilized people. We want to use democratic means to solve our problems in a democracy. And you are behaving like a dictator. What do you expect us to do? There's a bottom line to everything. So by we are saying that, well, we are taking the petition back. But the bank does not belong to Addison. 
there were governors who came and left. So surely he will leave. But he will account for every wrongdoing that he has done. He can ride, he can run, but he cannot hide. So let him prioritize uh, IMF over the people of Ghana. And then he will pay for it one day. Okay, thank you for talking to us. You just have national chairman of the NDC, Johnson is here in Kitia. Let's speak to Ningo Prime Prime MP, Sam George. Uh, Sam George, we are live on the polls on the Joy News um, channel. The minority leader said he felt disrespected because the governor and his two deputies did not come out to take the petition. I've been speaking to the national chairman, Johnson is here in Kitia. He feels the same way also. Ningo Prime Prime MP, how do you feel about that? I granted you an interview at Obra, mm. and I told you that Ernest Edison is a coward. Do you remember? <laughs> I said he was a coward and that he won't show up. So I'm not surprised. But I am disrespected. Mm. I am offended that he will send the watchman, the gate man, the security man, to come and receive a petition on monetary policy. He says he's a retired wing commander. For a wing commander, his business is flying planes. I mean, what has a wing commander got to do with monetary policy and, 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 and inflation rates? But you see, this is, this is a good indication of where we are. He has, he has called for war. He will get it big time. He dare not step in parliament because we will not entertain him in parliament. I, I was just asking the national chairman if you would recommend, uh, he talked about a boycott and I was asking him if he would endorse any boycott in parliament, advise the minority in parliament to boycott it. Is this something you will support? Well, well for me, yeah. I would insist the next time any of the deputy governors or the governor appears for the public accounts committee that we also cannot see them. We would ask this, is either they, they meet the security detail in parliament to hear them before the public accounts or they should go and then when we are ready we'll call them. I mean. The governor of the Bank of Ghana works for this country. Do you know how much he takes home as a salary? Every month he takes home over 80,000 Ghana cities as base salary. Over 80,000 Ghana cities. That's what Edison takes home every, every month. Minus allowances. How much do you, who have practiced journalism, how much do you earn in a month? The police who have worked with us, how much do they earn in a month? 80,000 base pay every month. He travels business and first class. Spent 97 million Ghana cities on foreign travels last year alone. And when the people who pay the taxes, that funds that lifestyle of his, say that we want to give him a letter, he sends the watchman that we pay with our taxes. Yeah, Dana say. We are very grateful. But this shows you how drunk with power President Akufuado. Vice President Baumia, Ken Oforiata, and the appointees like Ernest Edisina. But you see, ultimate power does not rest with Sam George. It does not rest with Akufuado. It rests with the ordinary Ghanaian who is looking at his pay, what your salary was. And I'm not going to take you back to when John Mahama was president. I'm taking you back to when Nanado won re election in 2021. How much was your salary? If your salary in 2021 was 3,000 Ghana cities, your salary was worth $500 in 2021 when Akufado won his second term. Today, your salary is still 3,000. It's now less than $300. What crime have you committed? And the man responsible for managing the foreign exchange, you want, you've asked your MPs to present a petition to him he disrespects us by sending the security man. But what do you also make of assertions that the trigger for this demonstration, you say that he's mismanaged um, the economy, some of the practices there um, has, have led to hyperinflation. You talk, about, um, you talk about depreciation of the CD, you talk about cost of living and all of that. He said he's meeting the IMF and the IMF is going to provide a lifeline to all the things that we are mentioning here. He's meeting the IMF. Yeah. He has a $3 billion program with the IMF, $3 billion. Now, and that $3 billion is for three years. So an average of $1 billion every year. That's what the IMF is giving to him. And they said that is what will fix Ghana's problems. Last year alone, he lost 80 billion, 80 billion today. 
is worth over seven billion. So if one billion, he's meeting the IMF for one billion, and last year Edison cost the taxpayer seven billion. Who is the problem? How can the IMF fix that? Did we vote for the IMF? Do we pay the IMF? Who put him there? Is it the IMF or the Ghanaian people? Okay. Thank you for talking to us. Um, you had Nyungo Pram Pram MP, um, Sam George. Um, now, we're going to move to the crowd now. We only got opportunity to be here um, because they gave access to journalists to accompany the leadership of the NDC party and the minority you know leadership in parliament now we move into where the protesters are the protesters were kept at bay by this thick please human wall formed here all of them we are out control gear some of them with cameras also by these metallic barricades it was a big struggle trying to get access to this place but this is the road. This is the road in front of the Kwame Nkrumah Museum, and you can see. I want, I want us to show you the number of policemen. Let's show you the policemen who are preventing, not preventing, making sure that the protesters. Do not do not go beyond the assigned designation. The Ghana Police Service is not leaving anything to chance. Today, Bank of Ghana and they have all closed on Mobile. Now the and NDC leadership. Who shall be back as the leadership? The one speaking right now is Duncan Amwa of Copec, saying that they're going to come back. Let's get closer. Let's get closer in here. You can see some of the demonstrators sitting down. It has been. A long walk. A long walk to this point. Very close to the Kwame Nkrumah Museum. And the leaders are taking turns to address the demonstrators. We want to want to get close up for you to see what is happening. Very soon, the minority leader, Kassela Tufosin, chairman of the NDC. Saigana, 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 Saigana,
Cecilia Jabe, Cecilia Jabe, Usube, we are Ghana, we are Ghana, my Cecilia Jabe, Cecilia Jabe, Usube, we are Ghana, we are Ghana, my Thank you very much. Cho boy, Cho boy. I lost my voice. We were on the path of for like three days. Innocent Ghanaians were arrested by Kufuado police. The police, he actually used the police as a weapon of mass destruction against the innocent city of Ghana. Went back on peaceful demonstration. We're better living for all of us. Now, my message is simple. I'm calling on Pope Francis, Pope Francis, to order the entire Catholic bishop in Ghana to embark on a holy protest walk against this government, this government of criminals and thieves. This government that has truncated Ghana's destiny. This government has plunged a lot of youth into perpetual poverty. This government that came to loot, create loot, have completely sold the entire destiny of this country. So therefore, I'm calling on the Holy Father, Pope Francis, to ask the entire bishops in Ghana to embark on a holy protest walk against the wicked government. The leader of the protest should be Archbishop Paman Boko. He should lead in the front. Those leading at the back should be Bishop Asari, Bishop John Louis, the Jama leader should be my own parish priest, Imano Salifu, together with his assistants. They should lead the Jama group. It appears the Christian Council, all of them have all sold their destiny. Akufuado have no respect for them. The only body that Akufuado has respect for is the Catholic Church. Therefore, the Holy Father, call your bishops in Ghana. Ask them to embark on a holy protest against this wicked regime. In our country, we cannot breathe fresh air. The looting is too much. These guys have sold the destiny of this country. The only thing remains is for them to put Ghana for sale. To put Ghana for sale. Therefore, guys, we are not going to relent. December, we are shutting down the entire street, like what we did on Saturday. For you, Ghana police, we are doing this thing for you guys. We are not your enemies. My father is a retired police officer. I have lived in the barracks. I know the deplorable state of the barracks. Most of you have turned yourself into party police. Ghana facts before any political party. We are not your enemies. Ghana facts before any political party. Gentlemen, sir. The gentlemen, sir. We are hitting the electoral commission. Gentlemen, sir, you have no right to differentiate any Ghanaian. You have already created the looting. You have already created the stealing of our votes by this useless limited registration uh, registration you are doing. Gentlemen, sir, we are coming to that EC. We are coming to that EC office. Ghana does not belong to Akufuado. This country does not belong to their mama and their papa to be printing currency. Guys, God bless you all. God bless you all. Thank you very much. I invite Mr. Bernard Bonner. Bernard Bonner, former national chairman, PS. Sure. I hold it up. Hold it up. Hold it up. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. We were there too. You can't hold it. I should hold. hold. Choboy. Choboy. Cho 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 boy. First. First. Let me thank the minority led by Dr. Atu KCL forcing for a solid display when we got to the premises of the Bank of Ghana. Help me to clap. We will go. We will come back. When we come back, when we come back, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.
We want to assure the governor that he better resigns before we come back the next time. Because next time, next time Ghana Police Service, listen to me. Tomorrow, he should announce his resignation because this is just the beginning. But as I step down, let me use this moment to commend the police. I saw a number of the uh, commissioners. I saw Commissioner Yohunu. I saw the Director General Suraj Mohammed. I saw Happy Bata. I want to salute them for what they have done today. If this is the way they will do policing, they will be the friends of our nation. But anytime they want to prove that they are a force, no force is bigger than the people's power. And as I said somewhere, any policeman that decides to be the protester, we will identify your children and beat them. Yejina organizers of this demonstration Nemo near the Asida PSA and Mamo. Yaya demonstration baby. But demonstration wait dear. Demonstration wait dear. Demonstration wait dear. Demonstration wait dear. My nina mumo say mamo. We salute you for your courage. We salute you for your patriotism. We salute you for your discipline. Munim sir, baby, a police for a block ye. Nanya, and I was anchor ye. Nancy, when I'm sir, ye jim reddit. Nayam Pesagana Basa Basa Banti. Ye jinaha, and I'm paying for the Bank of Ghana. And we thank you for your cooperation. We thank you for conducting yourself well. Yourselves well. And we thank you for. We salute all of you. For the patriotism, you done and D and the ASU. Choboy, Choboy. I was there for the entire. You better hear demonstration, you know. And you're very, very simple. It's been sent loud and clear. Ghana for your brother, do and I'm a boy. And then you're a boy, and I'm a boy. Must be a boy, and I'm a boy, and I'm a boy. Boys, boys, wah! Boys, boys, wah! And they do my work. And they stick up with your bottom. And they see me back on my own. Yeah, you don't know me against the bridge. I am a me boy. So boy. And I will turn one. You talk. Be be a boy again. And it is all because President Nana do Dangwa Okonfado. Oni ni niya bawolaya. Ghana sika, I was a kid in Buntuo, Yadi and Yamapa, Nayana Yanya Son Fasuano, Omo Dinu Yafunya Funya 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 Seven hundred and seventy trillion sika dadeni. Eh ya, nzu sika ni yamu di yamu di aye. And now kwa ya hospital sa, and penny up, and kwa ya kete kete de da form, afi kwa de da form. Nzu na na show boy soria, na wa chata William Shane, private jet akesi, na ni se wa broni, eh jari gu ya so. Will we continue to allow that? No. Will we continue to allow that? And now, Abu Fadu Adisika, Odi Nyami Di Kwe Adisika. They said you also see us all the time, Nyami. Me pamachau, Onyango Pong, 
Wakati ya kufu wano zewa nibe evitia na They have spent in total over 1 billion Ghana cities Titisikano 10 trillion on the so-called evil cathedral Foundation grow my to me and two And now, uko drew baby omu si omu si a soda ina Amanaka krakane wawo And so to a it becomes the biggest swimming pool in the world. And only here we are now. Over pay to me. Ose gana for ya yo. Tisikazo so diay. Ya tisikazo so diay. And ya miya na. Ose ya tu abama ye. Ya tu abama no. Na waba. Waba ya one district. Waase murefi. One district. One village. And then one district, one factory, you know. I done it one junction, one baller, one junction, one baller. So boy, the beer So we are saying enough is enough. Aku fuado julo kwake, sikadiano ayaye. Bawomia julo 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 kwake, sikadiano ayaye. On that note, anza na national chama bekasa no. Papa iba bekasa, papa we ye nipa. Ghana da nakoma so. He is the leader of the opposition. In the August House of Parliament, as you may be aware, this demonstration is being led by the gallant 137 members of Parliament. Let us clap for them. Joy, Anuti, and Sana Meina Channel, DJ No, Ababon National Anthem, Yenna Yanto National Anthem. Great and strong. President Akufuado, we appoint Papebi, we are the governor of the Bank of Ghana, Papan Ofrano, Governor Addison, the printer. Papa is the deputy of the Bank of Ghana, the deputy printers. I want to know Bank of Ghana ho. 2017, over the year, in paying for the Bank of Ghana, from 2017, it is about 2023. Systematically, we say Oman Ghana with President Ekufuado. The can about the governor pay in Osho when you are not your party, that's a young people, that's our bank, savings and loan in a microfinance. No way. We have banks in microfinance, savings and loans on Cochrane, Cochrane, 426. In power, we have to say, up to 50,000. The microfi, in the Ubu bank manager, no, I a taxi driver. Or the how can say, in order to be from her. Bank manager saying, can you fube bre, we have Uber driver, Sisiara. Papay. When Jai Ho 2019, IMF for quite a pet in our top printing machine or the BC Bank of Ghana. You know, I started to look at Sika or the President and Kufuado. I didn't fear again where Kesika 770 trillion Ghana Sika that down the moon. Where Kesika man printing machine in ink and wasa. 
Sayama no kwana. Obo kwa koto photo copy machine. Na wa tua. Wa wa yesi kan photo copy. Ada ma president ku kwa de biu. Papay. Man dwen ka na fu wo ho. Sika okay ni nti. Dem sa su nti. Ya wo sika bia ya de tu ho. Our friend international reserves. Dem sika da ya de yanyi de. Ya wo nzama bi e wo mani mu a. Ya nya bi wo kro yi mu. Ibi ni edura ya manufacture bi wa ha ama yala ya craft baby ya daba ibi wa ha onenye petro a ya de guyan kalim ya de ko osan do ya refinery president kufu adu webu dem sikan odin fie bien odin sika 6.3 billion us dollars wa san in fie bien dem sikan ni bi ina yala ya nua kennedy e japan uh, our parliament, I see MPP ban or the one side was the mu in the warrior where we are. Can you see this? Ah, now I understand the dollars now. I don't go approaching now. They go to my home. Many are known them. Sasunti, then see the now or they know what perform on in the incarno at an epa. What cloth you are going to have a ton five sitting and uh, what are we 12 cities. Ato house ronko ada bagana ha mini anom pape yi nende ya bade ya be demand de embra su do oido fie sika opinti na ozma president ekufu adu na naban e kan kana la ajiba umia don fanya nzama wan samfata no kwara wo mini de sika na opinti no ibi na ye nua e sincere ada pa okori ai wa ba kofa ada kwacha de dio yi don kwacha e ma Oh yeah, ne house help so okay go fine. Mini anom. Yeah 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 we yam bubble. Da me pa da me magana for what I say there. And they yaba dey yaba be shia governor Anderson. Ya kwa e no we gwan. Governor Anderson, we gwan. Obi send out oh yeah the hospital. Obi so send out all the shia IMF. Da ya pa da ya kan yi there. So ya need the hospital. So IMF no le shia wono. Ya sama ya de namo ye tetia ba anto de ye be shia no petition ye mfa mo biara ye kwae no akwa akwa fa papa bi aso no hwe wotima no fodo e wo bank no ho so hwe wotima no do hwe hwe secret do de nyano no ho asem tena ye bai senka ye secret ho asem aka enka ye ba kwa ministry of interior another ministry of defense another national security ye ba ha de ye ba ka e kwa na bank of ghana what is a house room called Wada Bagana? Sister America say, Nimpa 850,000. Governor de Sinusubaninzi, Onya e putu wongo proyimu. Mini anom, Ibini mukra we wu bini masin sa in wongo. Papa Addison, no wa ye. Ya sama anye de. Ya be samsu ya be biyo. Ya be samsu ya be biyo. And until we see him, this protest will not cease. Kawai. Maya ready ana. Maya ready ana. Yang kan chira go afna Anderson. There's one penu wa sama. On for new demand to her or chira na pa. Anya da ma. Or chira na pa yan tsenen ka. Ya ba ko meeting bi o. Ne ye di date for fraba. Ah ya ba sanso ya ba. Kwai. Kwai. Ana da munya ready. Ana munya ready. I am ready ma won sadu na meka. Mete masam lukwe wye yi Da me pada me kanyi de A ta yeri ye yi We are doing it for the people of Ghana We are not doing it for individuals We are doing it for the entire country Mini anom The future of our country is at stake Abani Has taken us for granted One thing that is missing in President Kufwadu's government is accountability. We will hold their feet to the fire of accountability. The NDC minority promises and assures the people of Ghana that one year, three months remaining, we will hold this government accountable. Ahumacho, Anajo, Inso, Ewio, we will do just that. Right. Yeah, Mr. Amuina.
Thank you, leader of the minority group. We now move to the general secretary of the NPC. The general secretary. Short one, then the chairman will come. Honorable Fifi Siavi. Quete. Cho boy! Cho boy! I want to thank the organizers, the minority leadership, together with the minority caucus, all the other political parties that have made this day a possibility. Um, what you saw happen with Governor Addison is unfortunately where this country has come. Where we no more have leaders who have courage to be able to face the truth. And they choose to run away when the moment comes for them to face accountability. In exactly a year and three months, the people of Ghana will have the opportunity to make sure that this government that only has shown that the only thing they can do is to show selfishness, greed, this government must give way for the sake of the future of our country. As the minority leader said, this battle is not for you, it's not for me, it's for the children of Ghana, it's for the generations that are behind us to ensure that this governance that we see under the last, in the last seven years, we no more have a repeat of this kind of government. This country is at a point where it takes a lot of patience to keep the governance as we have it. We should be thankful to God that we have a responsible opposition, a responsible leadership of the opposition that has ensured that this country has not descended to the level where other countries all over West Africa and other parts of Africa have descended. We will continue to show responsibility because we believe that we can find solutions that do not have to have chaos and confusion and trouble for the country. So continue to fight hard Continue to stand behind us, and we are sure that the darkness that you see today will come to an end. And that darkness will give way to a new day that will be born come December 7, 2024. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The General Secretary of the NDC, Honorable Fifi Fabi Before the National Chairman speak, I acknowledge the presence of our actors all the way from Kumasi and beyond here. Yadamwasi. So let's do it well. It is now the time for the general to speak. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> Your baba be sisi Ghana no. Ono ni John Dramani Mahama. Ono ni sisi kai. 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 John Dramani Mahamad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As of Somebody sit down, man. We are one unit. 
Ebeta Nana Kufuado, Dono Afro Tegare, Diagana Fuadi Nubesia, and Omdi Nasino. Na, Sa Obia Mua, Obia Kua, Obia Kua, and Diana NDC for any PNC, any PPP, Eka, Sa Abawenya. Wamu ya kwamfo omu wiade Minu anom ebre bia meka ta comfort do nson Mo se manka no ye Manka tra mo se wamu kosia na omu ayi kwamfo ta ji amo a Wamu ko ya won na omu yi no Anya na na kufu adu na omu yi no Sa meka ya ebu adu ni ana mo de fa nyansa I <laughs> Mpiani mo akabi, aja ku akabi, enuti yendi tama kuzu akabi, mebwa, mo biya ni di wamu tamu, mo biya ni di wamu tamu, ebisa Paulu awa man tamu, osadi kafua, Paulu no ochicha ni pati, ochicha Kristo forty, achira ya dia friend of Saul. Obe sakra enu enu obe ye po enu ti abusiafo se achekura na se ene 
MPP ni bi asori aka se ojitum se ni party fo no ya krom fo a muni di na tem mo nsa no nkura ni na mo mo na ba so no aka mo bebre wo ho ya nyanti ye na wo mo ka bi tu aso na ye wuru secret ye wo ho ene se bi me kan se se ye ka se ye ko wi ye mpp pani fo ni wo mo appointees wa mo demu ani wa mo mpase esisi wa mo passport wa sika ye benya fri wa no e che three period wa ye ko ji afri ya mefu ni ye ko ya mefu bi em ma bu de o ye ye wa wi ye sika ya ba ka tra o se fa ko nwa no to ho o si ma jwane me ne ai am mefu fu o ko sia ya ka tra ya mefu fu se and for four now, we are only one more thing to talk about. 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 One more thing wo mu di ni etu wo mu a ni sa wo kon sa wo mko jesi wo mu no ajo si ka tu wo o ba ko e o ba kon sa wo wo ko jesi wo mu wo ajo si ka afri wo mu ho na wo mu su o wo mu siri o wo mu di ku sagram o ya se adesem bank no e ya ga na fo ya bank any about pass a very sick as well. Yeah, very well, what is the canoe in our free home? Yes, I feel back one. Okay, now on say and for a minor canoe and Kosia one. Yes, it's 23. Oh, no, 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 I don't think that this is not a decision. I need the deputies here. We are moving as if we are not moving from where we are. We are moving. I am not trying to hold you. You are not moving. I am trying to hold you. You are not moving. 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 Now I'm going to protect you. I'm going to help 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 you. Opa, this is our story. Fly to Nigeria. Don't compare the bad bit. Oko IMF. But so me now I'm born. Kura da obe pong obe je kura chalo. Enu ti yadamasi. Di amu yano. Enya ya. Party for one point in four. One point in four. Oh, enya ya na mu ya mayo. Obi a wadi. Forty years. Eh kwa. Awa hano, oya manema. Mo mo nyani forty years, mo ma mo tazo, mo ma mo tazo, mo ya ma mo ho, mo ya ma mo ho. Enche, ya papa iti mensa. Na president kofu, etwa na mamboni bi. And we did the demonstration. Say ya, ya we are ya be chain no echo to mo. And now our here, our co, a cabia na omo a co bo e guwa. Iti men sa be co a co jis kanu be afrini ho. Mo na mo be tuya. And unti na ya omo ba sa kanu. Se mo ya mi ya anka. O chira bi. Obaiwe asi adun kati ya wungu no. Na me so me kwa. 
Pifi kwete, nuwa kwa. Atufasi, nuwa kwa. Mwa, ya, ya njini chaye mwono. Mwone mwoma, ena mwoba abebre. Enu ti abu siyafuwa. Ya ya ti asidye. Ya mpese, adibone ebe koso. Na chira mu chira ya baku se mwa. Obi ya kwa kase ya na nasi ya dunke ti anuwa ti asi. Ena wamudi adibone uwe edi ya. Ena wa ankasa. Meka bini ya kumia. Mu chira baku se mwa. Mwoba chira ma baku se msa de ya mu chira kwa prati po ni. Ayo date la mte. Ene sa jajete numa baku se mwa. Adam, na me so me ko, na obia otia konya bia sone, no susu se oye tin 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 tin, kan kabino, ebrebi baba, me se eba day ebrebi baba, da abenu baba no, ya frau na unkwa ukoko jina kwatwa, uba dani wachina kufua duniho, uba dani uben kumna gabi ya asari wachile da kuniho. Na kawunu unyame mkwa. Enunti. Mwenye na hon. Enunu se. Edabi. Eba. Obia. Bebu ni nyuma hon aten. One day, one day, one day. Cha, 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 cha. Eba, eba. Obia. Bebu ni nyuma hon aten. Enti ya damase. Amen. Ya maa enu nina ya damase. Yes. Enu ya no mprozi fwa mwoso ya damase. Enfri ya nyo, mwoma sa nomu na ya mamu obwa ni inti na mwobre. Enyaya ni ya mamu obre. Amu obre ya siya obre. Enunti. Ya 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 no. Ya ya mamu nina. Ya ya mamu nina. Prosi ni soja wako no. Aba imbe ba wacha amfia ngwa kinu wako u. Ube tremuwa mfiebe ya duyasa. Enti sene uma politician bisu nsumu. Se kodi bwanea. Bwanea no edawanimu uchayo. Nibra beso. Yabe frao abisa mwa konta. Sa ata mna u politika godo na wasuma ono. No niho. Enti minu ya nomu. Uba mpaye. Na uwa nchasua ube budu ya. NDC branch for a Remi wa Toronto, a B Remi wa New York, a B Remi wa South Africa. Ninja Monsanto Juma, Eti Monso Yadamasi. Ebra, na ya kase, a juma ya 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 ya, e ya ni mwenye na juma no, na bebre mwenye ni. Na no, akopa julo bi ya aso no. Mete se ya chimi di afonu bi, mese aha, e boboba. Ye si da, ye yi kwa ina anka wda ya, ose kontrata na nitene. Enti wudi ya beba. Enti diya ya nyano. E nye. Ya mkwa ya bade E ye nina Wa nkabi na Tina ude ya beba ubi nkabi mao Enti bra Ya druno Ye nyo ya nom MP pifuwa Monsu monsu suse Nana kufu ado abaye ada ada amo Ase mudino Monfere hon Ya nes demonstrasi ya ya ba hano Mwenye mwenye ya chi Ni ya mpam Muli da bwane eno, a wase mupati no. Wamua haka nu nina asofuo, ya nes demonstration ya ba, mumrabi. Efrisa sese mua muji tumse ya kwa lesi yusu hati. Enunti, obia na juma. Enti ya damase, ya be mamu deti ya, ya be samba. Na adesen, enja kura. Encha kura Mama Mama prosifuwa nongkwa hume Wamo hume kakra 
Yabasai Hey, So, the chairman of the National Democratic Congress has been addressing um, the protesters and that brings an end to the protest that started this morning from the brass board and ended here at this venue very close to the Kwame Nkrumah Museum. We've heard extensively from the leadership of the party. We've also heard from the minority um, in parliament. Now some of the protesters also want to talk to us. It's just proper that we hear from them also. Yes. What, what's on your plaque? Is it a halt yes, the corrupt you? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. I'm a tutor. Or let me say I'm a teacher. Which school? Today, okay. You're, yes, it's okay, don't yes, mention the yes, school. I have the right to privacy. Now, the daily minimum wage of Ghana is 14 cities, 88 pesos. Today, for you, a Ghanaian, to buy a loaf of beef or star bread, it will cost you 40 cities, which means that you must work about four days for the government of Ghana before you'll be able to afford a loaf of bread. To take Trotro from Kaswa to Circle, it's about 50 cities, which is more than the daily minimum wage. So we are suffering in this country. Now let me say this, when we were young, we used to teach the children that government, Ghana is a rich country. We have gold, we have oil, we have bauxite, a whole lot of minerals. Today, we are not able to teach the upcoming generation that Ghana is a rich country because Nana Akufuado and Bahumia government has funded all of Ghana's gold reserves. Today, they are into the forest reserves. They are taking all our reserves. And even the Achimata forest, which is not full of gold, people are waiting for their generations yet of gold. So you and I should be concerned. If you want a better Ghana, you should be concerned. All those Christian Council people, National Peace Council, opinion leaders in Ghana, who used to call Ayesafu Muahunye, this is the time that we need you. The country is collapsing. We need you to intervene for the good people of Ghana. The average teacher in Ghana needs better conditions of service. We are suffering. Now you take your salary, you cannot even buy blood. You will work for the government of Ghana for about 10 years and you will not be able to afford even a plot of land in Kumasi. What is this? Why are we suffering like this? We need a change. And the change is John Jamani Muhammad. He has done some before. And we trust him that he will come and put Ghana on the path of success. Thank you very much. Join me. Thank you for talking to us. Um, hi, what's your name? I am Iman Odonko. I'm a national service person. The national service person? Yeah, national service person. And on your black as you will pay all national service areas now. Yes, sir. The, uh, the ongoing economic... No, just yeah, the, the ongoing economic hardship is really affecting national service personnel and young Ghanaians as a whole. As I speak to you, today is 3rd October 2023 and yet national service personnel have not received August allowance. We have also not received September allowance. As I speak to you, 
um, the badge of national service I belong to have finished our national service effectively because October is a leave month, but people don't have money to even board cars back home. You remember that when the Cecilia Dapa $1 million case surfaced, coincidentally or intentionally, the government announced that national service allowance has been increased from 559, 559 Ghana cities to 715. As I speak to you today, it's 3rd October, and we have not received the arrears difference. That's from January up to from January up to July. We have not received that arrears difference. That is uh, subtracting uh, 559 from 715. We have not received that. But sadly, the, the national service director went. Uh, on GTV yesterday morning to say that August allowance for national service personnel have been paid. We have not received any August allowance as the national service director said. I don't know why he said that and we want our, all our money paid. We don't want it in part payments. Um, secondly, 25 Ghana cities was deducted from national service allowance to the, uh, to the tune of more than 3 mil million Ghana cities. Uh, for what? What right does the National Service Scheme have to deduct money of 25 Ghana cities from over 115,000 National Service persons? Why? What, what crime have we done? At a time that you are owing us, you are now even deducting our money further. So we want all our National Service areas paid. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you also want to talk to okay. So postgraduate nurses and midwives now. Nurses and midwives deserve um, better. I'll come to you shortly. Uh, but let's show our audience. Okay, let's talk to you. Come, let me talk to you. Talk to me. Um, uh, we we came here on this occasion not because we are happy or not for fun, but because things are not all right. Okay. One. Now, currently in Ghana. We don't have a good educational system. Secondly, the health system is collapsing. The private sector has already been condemned. That one, we don't even talk about it. Because now when you are doing a private business, you are more or less someone who is not doing anything. So we are here to tell them that it is time we let them know we know what they are doing. Maybe if we are not saying anything, does not mean we don't know what is going on okay. so they cannot fool us every day okay. yeah. thank you for talking to us now let's show let's show let's show our audience um, the number of police officers who are deployed and uh, i must say that we must commend the ghana police service once again for a job well done well it's obvious for everyone to see it was obvious for everyone to see, and in fact, the leadership of the demonstration acknowledged that fact. The chairman of the National Democratic Congress, Johnson and Sierra Dinkins, also applauded the style of the Ghana police. You can see many of them standing behind this barricade, some of them sitting under the tents over there. At no point did we see any confrontation. The only confrontation we saw was at the Castle Road, the disagreement over whether to use the Kwame Nkrumah Avenue or the Castle Road. At the end of the day, the protesters were able to use, use the Castle Road as was agreed with the Ghana Police Service. In fact, the minority leader himself was there to de-escalate the, um, the situation, got the protesters to move up, to use the castle road. You can see the police officers, all of them in the route control gear. They made sure that there was absolute peace and order. Let me speak to one of the protesters, oh, fix the country. You are here to support um, this protest. What's the motivation? The motivation is that, um, I mean, we are here. I mean, if you see me here as an individual, I am part of fix the country, but I'm here as an individual. I am here as an individual who believes that 
whatever this um, organizers are saying or demanding from um, the people in leadership yeah whatever they are demanding from the people in leadership is the same things for the country stand for we was actually going to the Jolobi house to demand the main person that actually appointed the Bank of Ghana governor. So if they are doing a protest in respect to the same thing, well, it is best enough for me to show up because I am not in Fix the Country as Fix the Country alone. I am in Fix the Country because I believe in the ideologies of Fix the Country, which is we making sure that our country will be better again. And that is what I stand for. So Ghana first in everything we do, and that is the most important thing. Okay, great. Thanks for speaking to us. Let's speak to another gentleman. Hi, what's your name? You are part of the protest. Of course, I'm part of the protest. Uh, so now, we will go and find a, 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 a different time for you, for us to come. We will come back. Okay. Yes, we will come back. Because Addison, uh, Kufuado, Baumia, and Co, they are stealing our money. Right? They are stealing our money because now we are tired. We can't pay our utility bills. We can't pay our rent. We can't buy food, even water. So now the, the hardship is too much. It's too much for us. Everything, they will, they, they will just, the police people, they occupy us. They will block the road. They will not allow us to go. But the, 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 good, news, the good news, we want to hear that. We will hear that Addison has, must resign. That is our our policy because at the same is arm robber as oh, oh it's true I'm no, the truth. I no, don't see anybody that's, no, I, wouldn't that. I wouldn't allow that yes, I wouldn't allow that I wouldn't allow that I wouldn't allow that yes. okay so thanks for speaking okay. to us thanks for speaking to us so that's it and that's how it all ends um here on the street very close to the Kwame Nkrumah Museum the protest has ended the leadership of the NDC um Johnson is here in Ketia led them here we also had a minority leadership also. Um, minority leader Kassela Tufosi was also here. Um, he says that they're gonna be back and they want to present the petition um, to the governor. The governor of the Bank of Ghana and his two deputies were not available to receive the petition, but the minority leader Kassela Tufosi says they are going to be back to present the petition um, to the governor. He says he feels disrespected as a minority leader and the minority in parliament also um, feel disrespected by this um, action. We also heard from Sam George, Dingo from, from MP Sam George, he's saying that there's a possibility that the minority in parliament will boycott um, the governor and his two deputies anytime they're making an appearance in parliament. A lot happened. The work started all the way from the brass spots and then ended um, here. The protesters were not allowed close to the central bank. It was just that leadership the minority leadership of the parliament and then the ndc leadership they were allowed but they didn't present the petition because the governor and his deputy and his deputies were not around to receive the petition so that'll be the end of um, our coverage but we'll definitely be keeping tabs on all the developments surrounding the protest my name is maxwell um Agbagba, reporting for joy news <laughs>